hope you're all doing well. I've had quite a day today. I have an appointment with my orthopedic surgeon and I thought my appointment was at one o'clock. So I hurried around, got ready for my appointment, got over here and I was checking in and the receptionist said my appointment is not until 445 and I live away from here. So I can't just go home, you know, so I'm just hanging out, killing time. And I was sitting here thinking, we just got back yesterday. Brent and I went away for the weekend to celebrate our 39th wedding anniversary and had a wonderful time while we were there. Did a lot of shopping and eating out, all the fun stuff, you know. And um, I also, you know, I watched YouTube videos late at night and I saw several of my friends on YouTube, my um, YouTube buddies have uh, subscribed to Sassy Gal Prepping. I'm going to go check out her channel today. But she has a, a challenge going on right now, $5 preps. I think it's $5 preps for Friday, something like that. And so I've been seeing videos of people showing a $5 prepping haul, what you can get for your prepper pantry for $5. And I've been thinking about that. And there's some really interesting things. It's good to see how people um, spend their $5 and the things you can get for $5. So I've been kind of putting my mind to it, thinking about it, and I'm here in my car, of course, on a parking lot. So I can't show you what I would do, but I can tell you about it, right? And you've all, these are all, I wrote down some ideas on a grocery receipt. <laughs> so I'm making do with what I have available today. I wanted to share this with you all. Go check out her channel. I'm going to today. Um, I was thinking of meals more in the, in the, um, when I think about prepping, rather than just have cans of things on my shelves, I like to know what I'm going to do with the things that are on my shelf. All right. I need a plan in my head of where this stuff is going to go. So I think in terms of buying meals instead of just items. So one of the things that I, I like to make and my family really likes to eat is chicken and stuffing casserole. I've made it on here before. You can go back and look at my old videos. I'm not sure where it's at in there, but I've made it before for you guys to see. You take a, a, can, a box of stuffing mix. I use just by the Great Value brand or the Aldi brand. They're both fine. Um, the stuffing mix is 88 cents and you cook that according to package directions. Then I add a can of cream of chicken soup, which is 54 cents and a can of chicken breast meat, which is $3. And you mix all of that together, put it in a casserole dish, nine by 13, and bake it for 20 to 30 minutes. And you have a wonderful casserole, comfort food at its best, okay? To go along with that, you could open a can of green beans for 50 cents. And the casserole and the green beans together make your meal $4.92. So for $4.92, in this $5 haul, I would have a can of cream of chicken soup a box of chicken stuffing mix or turkey stuffing mix, a can of chicken, great value brand, and a can of green beans. And that should serve three to four people. If your people love green beans, open two cans and then your cost would be $5.92. But anyway, that's a really good meal for just a little bit less than $5. Another meal I would do in the $5 range, and this one was tricky for me, um, but it goes, it goes far. It feeds a lot of people, um, is chili, a big pot of chili. Um, the great value brand of chili beans are 78 cents a can. I would put two cans of those in 46 ounces of tomato juice was $2 and 48 cents. A small thing of chili powder, great value brand was $1. And here's the tricky part. The hamburger would be $5.37 for one pound, but I'm not using one pound of burger in my meals anymore. I, I cut that in half and I would use half of that pound and that would be $2.69 for your burger. And that would make a pot of chili $5.04. But you would have to invest in the, in the whole pound of hamburger and that would make it a little more than that. But then your, the other half pound of burger would be for another meal for another time. 
So um, my third meal that I thought of for $5, actually this is less than $5. And you've heard me say this before as well, it's a great prepping meal, but it's also a meal that basically everyone enjoys is spaghetti. A jar of spaghetti sauce is $1.48 and a box of spaghetti noodles is $1.84. And that comes to $3.32 for spaghetti. Now, what I would do with my spaghetti meal, I would use toast. I would use um, maybe some bread that isn't as fresh, you know, or whatever kind of bread you have. Sometimes I use hamburger buns. If I have hamburger buns left over, I smash them a little bit and pop them in the toaster, butter them with garlic bread, or excuse me, garlic powder on them. That makes wonderful garlic toast, garlic bread toast, whatever you want to call it. Kids love it, you know, and there's three meals and each meal would be just right around five dollars so you can do it you can afford to prep you can afford to be stocked up so let me know your ideas for five dollar meals in the comments down below let me know what you guys have been up to how's your fall going are you ready for thanksgiving were you able to find all of the ingredients for your thanksgiving meal i think i'm ready i think i've got everything we need for our holiday meal so i will say goodbye now and go try to find something to do until I can get in to see my doctor. I don't want to go to Hobby Lobby. Yikes. That could get me in trouble, right? But I'll find something to do. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.